The purpose of this application excellence video is to give you a brief overview of how Armor Edge snap-on fascia is installed. While the techniques shown here may be applied to most projects, this video is not comprehensive to cover all situations. We encourage you to contact Garland Engineering with any questions. This is a list of standard tools needed for Armor Edge fascia installation. The primary components of snap-on fascia are the cant dam, splice plate, and fascia cover. Fascia components also include inside and outside corners, primary scuppers, and overflow scuppers. Accessories used with the fascia system include fasteners and caulking. This installation video features products which require work along the roof perimeter. On most projects, fall protection equipment and observation is required. It is the installer's responsibility to ensure all federal, state, and local safety protocols are followed. Let's start with a brief review of how a fascia is sized up. Measure the nailer height every two to three feet along the entire wall length to establish the minimum and maximum height which needs to be covered. Note that the cant dam is always one and a half inches above the roof surface. The overall face dimension is the required nailer coverage plus the top one and a half inches. The size, material, and attachment of the fascia is ultimately determined by ANSI SPRY ES1 approvals. Building code requires ANSI SPRY ES1 testing for all metal edge systems. When filling out an order form, right and left hand notations may need to be made. Left and right hand notations are taken from the roof area and not the ground. The roof surface should be prepared to accept the cant dam. The cap sheet or roof membrane should be wrapped over the top of the nailer and secured with nails to the face every 12 inches on center. Fascia installation begins with the corners. Miter two 36 inch cant dam sections to create the corner. Then secure with nails every 12 inches on center. Next, install the 10 foot cant dam sections. Armor Edge snap on fascia is installed over the new roof system. Nailing pattern is 12D roofing nail or number 10 wood screw every 12 inches on center on the top flange and through the face. It is essential to follow this spacing to comply with ANSI SPRY ES1 testing. Cant dam sections are manufactured in 10 foot lengths. Prime the cant dam with Garla Prime Metal Primer. Over primed cant dam, apply flashing mastic. In this example, we are using Weather King flashing adhesives to cold apply the flashing membranes. Other flashing adhesives may also be used depending on the roof system selected, such as torch application, hot asphalt, or other cold adhesives such as green lock. We recommend specifying cold adhesives for the Armor Edge application so that the edge metal installation is not subject to hot or torch equipment availability. Cut a six inch wide strip of base flashing material to install. Draw in base flashing to ensure complete adhesion. Then, apply a second course of adhesive over the base flashing ply. Cut a nine inch wide strip of the cap sheet flashing membrane to install. The cap sheet is rolled into the mastic to ensure complete adhesion. With the flashing plies complete, the fascia cover may be installed. First, install a splice plate on one side of the fascia cover. Insert the plate so that two inches is left exposed. The next cover piece will be installed over this exposed end of the splice plate. Just like the cant dam, the fascia cover is provided in a 10 foot length. The fascia cover uses no fasteners. The snap lock action of the cover ensures a secure fit while allowing for thermal expansion and contraction. This in turn reduces oil canning and results in a much better looking metal edge.